Today on Rappler, Vice President Judge Omar Binay slams Interior Secretary Mar Rojas' allies for attacks against him. Hindi po dahil nagayuhan siya, e parang e pag walang bahala na lang. The family of a transgender woman slain in Olongapo demands justice. And the World Health Organization warns Ebola cases could rise up to 10,000 a week. Hello, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Welcome to Rappler, your social news network. Vice President Judge Omar Binay lashes out at President Benigno Aquino's cabinet members, blaming them for the alleged demolition job against the Binay family. In particular, he hits allies of Liberal Party stalwart Interior Secretary Mar Rojas. Binay says his opponents were fueled more by personal ambition than a search for truth. In a speech before public attorneys, he also questions the unusual interest of Justice Secretary Laila de Lima in investigating corruption allegations against him. Binay is regarded as the top contender in the 2016 presidential elections. Authorities in Olongapo file a murder complaint against U.S. Marine Private Joseph Scott Pemberton Wednesday. He is a suspect in the Sunday murder of transgender woman Jennifer Laude, whose legal name is Jeffrey Laude. The family of Laude demands justice. Jennifer's sister, Marilou Laude, calls on authorities for a fair probe. Hindi po dahil nagayuhan siya, e parang e pag walang bahala na lang, kumpaga e bibigyan pansin. Kasi nga, dayuhan, tapos ang Pinas lang bakla, di ba? Hindi po sana sa ganun. Maging fair po sana yung laban, hindi po one-sided lang kasi dayuhan. Watch Katerina Francisco's full report on Rappler. One year after a magnitude 7.2 earthquake shook central Visayas, only half of the 12 billion pesos needed to rehabilitate affected provinces has been released. Bohol is the worst hit province with several towns and roads in ruin. Thousands of earthquake survivors have yet to move in to their new homes. Hong Kong protesters clashed with dozens of police early Wednesday morning. The violence is among the worst seen since the rally started. Demonstrators are calling on China to deliver its promise of allowing Hong Kong to directly elect its leaders without interference from Beijing. The confrontation broke out during a police operation to dismantle barricades. Police beat back protesters who refused to retreat with batons and pepper spray. Others were pulled to the ground, handcuffed, and hauled away. Police say they arrested 45 protesters. The World Health Organization warns the number of people infected by Ebola could go as high as 10,000 a week by December. More than 4,400 people already died from around 9,000 reported cases, a mortality rate of 70%. The battle against the virus is made more difficult by a health workers' strike in Liberia. In the Philippines, the government braces itself for the repatriation of overseas Filipino workers and peacekeepers from West Africa. A doctor's group calls on the government to strengthen the country's defense against the disease. Let's now look at Rappler's Wrap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number 3, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg pledges $25 million dollars to help U.S. efforts to contain the deadly Ebola epidemic. On his page, Zuckerberg says Ebola could infect 1 million people or more, or more over the next several months if not addressed. Zuckerberg and his wife will donate the amount to the U.S. Centers for, for Disease Control and Prevention Foundation. And at number 10, how about an external battery that recharges using your body's energy? Mobile battery Ampi does that. Strap on the Ampi to your body and go about your daily routine. Ampi's maker says a normal day's walking can give three hours of phone life, while those with more active lifestyles, six hours. For the full top 10, visit Rappler.com to the wrap. Rock band U2's frontman Bono apologizes for automatically sending the group's latest album, Songs of Innocence, into 500 million Apple devices. A listener asks the band, can you please never release an album on iTunes that automatically downloads to people's playlists ever again? It's really rude. Bono apologizes to the listener and admits to, quote, a drop of megalomania. 
every story on Rappler has a mood meter, which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Click how you feel, and your vote comes down to the mood navigator. Let's check out today's mood navigator. A big green circle right in the middle. SWS survey says, be nice, ratings drop further. This has 88% of readers feeling happy. 4% say they don't care. That story largely contributes to the mood of the day. Today, most people are happy. That's Rappler's Newscast for today, Wednesday, October 15, 2014. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.